Hi everyone, Hannah here. So I wanted to do the, I guess you could say, unboxing or overview of this month's mini mixed media box. Um, most of what we're doing is kind of beach themed. This one could be either or. I just, I kind of incorporated a couple different collections and just fused them together. I guess you could say it's a fusion box, but um, really fun, eclectic mix, and so I'm really excited about it. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of slide this stuff on out here. So lots of fun colors here that we're using this month. Um, so kind of for our base, uh, we've got mint green effect paste. I love this stuff. Um, we did use this in the May Mixed Media kit, and so I thought, well, let's go ahead and use it in the Mini Mixed Media. Um, we're also going to be using it in the Mixed Media Junk Journal, which that tutorial will be uploaded soon. Um, and then we've got blue gold paint. Um, it's If you paint it on a white surface, it's kind of blue, shimmery, gold color, and if you paint it on a black surface, it's gold. So I love the Opal Magic um, collection. And then we've got some icing paste, the um, Amethyst Magic um, icing paste. So super excited about using that this month. Um, we've got some different stencils that we're putting in. These are just some random uh, stencil pieces from, um, Prima has a couple of different beach related um, stencils and so we're just you know cutting out a little piece um, you know that you can incorporate in your um, you know in your project and we also got some fishnet here uh, we'll definitely be having fun using this and then we've got some uh, I love crushed glass it's so pretty so we'll definitely be using that we've also got some beads here that we'll be putting um, then we've got a piece of chipboard here from Prima. And then uh, this is a mixture of uh, Prima's Havana uh, set and then also um, Surfboard, I think was the name of that collection. Um, so we've kind of got a little mix of that. So we'll be putting that, um, you know, in there. We've got some flowers here. These are from the watercolor collection. I just absolutely love that collection. And then also we've got some seashells that we'll be uh, incorporating into um, our project. Got some other cute little flowers and then some uh, micro beads as well. Um, the mini kit is not so mini this month. <laughs> um, I had some of these left over from when we used them in, I can't remember if it was September or October, mixed media um, kits. And so I thought, well, let's put them to good use. Um, and, you know, every once in a while I want the mini um you know, customers to have something a little bit bigger, um, you know, kind of as like a little special something, you know. Um, so this will definitely be fun. Um, I think roughly it's about five by seven inches. Um, and so some of them have the hearts at the end. Some of them just have like a little cutout oval kind of shape, little curved oval. Um, and then of course you get your palette knife and your paint brush. So super excited about this project. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do, um, I'm going to use this one part of my stencil here that has these little polka dots. And I'm just taking the, um, the mint effect paste and I'm just gonna kinda spread it on different parts of our tray here, our wooden crate.
So I wanted to add some more of this paste in our crate. And so I'm just adding a little bit in the crevices of it and then up a little bit on the sides as well. Um, I'll probably cover up the color, um, but I definitely want to have that texture, um, you know, in our layout here. I just really like the, the texture of this paste. So you can let your paste dry or you can go ahead and start adding a little glue on top of it or probably even just drop the crushed glass right into the paste. Um, I, Since I was crunched for time a little bit, I went ahead and just applied glue on top of it and just dropped some of the crushed glass in there and then just kind of you know put the pieces where I want it to I'm just building up that layer and then we will be covering it up with the blue gold paint um, in our next step and I do go ahead and let this dry before I apply um, the blue gold paint just because I don't want any glue or paste mixing in with the paint So after all of that has dried, now I am adding the blue gold paint and I'm basically covering over all of the areas that we just did. Um, covering over the crushed glass, over the texture paste, even some of the parts where we did the stenciling. Um, you know, just trying to add some more of that blue in and cover up some of the um, the space that we have, we have some negative space where it's just the wood showing through and so I'm wanting to cover up, um, you know, a pretty good bit of that. I do want to leave some of the wood showing through because it does leave that nice natural effect, which I like, but I do want to add the paint on most of it.
So what I like to do is go ahead and lay out my embellishments of where I'm going to put them and then I go ahead and glue everything down and that just kind of helps me figure out um, you know where I want to put it at. I might want to make some changes so I just lay it out so that I can see it first and then whichever way I uh, decide to go with it then I just go ahead and start gluing everything down. So after all of that has dried, I want to add a pop of color with this Amethyst Magic Icing Paste. I absolutely love this icing paste. At first I was going to add it on with the palette knife, um, but I decided to add it with the brush because that way I feel like I could just get a better handle on it. Um, especially if I'm wanting to get up in some of those crevices, it's easier with the paintbrush. And so some of the places I'm adding a thick layer of it and then um, putting a little, painting a little thin layer over the, the seashells because I do like that little purple shimmery uh, look to the seashells. But I'm just adding it over all of the places where I had the texture paste, um, you know, in the corners and over the rocks and just in some of the little cracks there um, and then the thin layers on the seashells. And I really like the, the pop of color that it adds. And that is pretty much it. Um, just kind of adding a little bit here and there, little light layers. 
and this would make a pretty decorative wooden crate that you can just use as decor um, it can also be functional as well um, I'll show you a picture where I've stacked some of the little handmade books that I'm putting in the junk journal and scrapbook boxes this month just to kind of give you an idea of what you can use um, this for but if you have any questions at all feel free to let me know um, I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching